People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. We're still putting 162 million tons into it every single day. And the accumulated amount is now trapping as much extra heat as would be released by 600,000 Hiroshima-class atomic bombs exploding every single day on the Earth. That's what's boiling the oceans. More than half of all of the fossil fuel emissions that we've put into the atmosphere in all of human history have been produced in the last 25 years, which means that we've now done more damage to the climate since Al Gore wrote his first book on global warming, since the UN established the IPCC, and all the millennia before. We are told that our civilization is on the brink of collapse, that we are facing a climate apocalypse, and that we must act now, before it is too late. But is this true? What is the evidence to support the notion of a looming catastrophe? Are there any dissenting voices? What do they say? Come to our lecture and Q&A to hear all sides of this story. You can hardly notice the one degree rise in temperature. This has not been a very significant change in global temperature. The last 300 years is when it started. We certainly had nothing to do with the fact that it started warming again 300 years ago, coming out of the little ice age. So this might shock you. A man who co-founded the Weather Channel thinks climate change is a hoax. His name is John Coleman. Before launching the Weather Channel in the early 1980s, he was the original weatherman on Good Morning America. It's nice to be on CNN. Hello to all your viewers. I resent you calling me a denier. That is a, a word meant to put me down. I'm a skeptic about climate change. Science isn't a vote. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold fact, there's no question about it. There is no significant man-made global warming now, but the science is on my side. Thank you.